It's time to meet our next guest. Boardies, tick. Surfboard, tick. 70 foot waves, tick. Ouch. For an elite <laughs> group of athletes riding big waves is pretty much a way of life. And for Aussie Mark Visser, uh, bigger is always better. The 35 year old thrill seeker spends his time tracking down some of the most extreme waves in the world. And back in 2011, he made history by surfing the giant swell at night. Now the ocean adventurer is helping us face our fears in and out of the water. Now we would never like to call a guest crazy, but you're crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Is, uh, great to have you on the show, Mark. These pictures are spectacular. We'll work our way through them. Everyone wants to know first up, why? That's a really good question and uh, something I probably couldn't answer myself for quite some time. And I think working on that book, I really helped kind of discover that. And the truth was probably having a childhood fear of drowning. Uh, when I was really young, I uh, fell in a sheep's trough and my brother pulled me out by my hair before I lost my life. And um, I just had that fear of the water and I actually spent the majority of my life trying to prove to myself that I wasn't afraid. I didn't really figure that out till, till a bit later on. Wow. Gee, so you take on these big waves. Any waves speak to me, but, but what's the yeah. actual classification of a big wave well, I think for a, a surfer? Yeah, I think a big wave is anything over 30 foot. Okay, so 30 do. foot and big is pretty big. But you're up there at 50, 60, 70 foot. What's, what's going through your mind as you're towing into We're talking uh, like the side of a skyscraper, right? Yeah, oh, on a big wave like that, I mean, you're really just trying to pick the line that you want to take, the angle that you want to come in, and your strategy of where you're going to position yourself and then how you're going to get out of there. It's kind of And you've got to do all of this in a split second. Yeah, and you're moving quick too. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, and then just to, you know, switch things up a bit, let's do it at night. <laughs> Why? It looks like, can you see what you're doing out there? No, um, you, you, you can't, but essentially after a bit of time in the dark, you can see shadows within, within shadows. And uh, for me, I was really just trying to prove to myself that um, if I set a task that seemed beyond achievable, that I would have really overcome my, my fear. And for me, you know, uh, it's kind of like being a mountain climber and climbing Everest. And, and for me, that was my Everest for sure, coming from a background of being afraid and just really wanting to prove to myself that you know, I wasn't and that I could over I could achieve something if I really put my mind to it. And I think I really just wanted to remind other people that they can do the exact same, regardless of what sport or thing or passion they have. Yeah, Kylie and I asked you in the commercial break how you see these waves, these monsters coming towards you at night. We thought it might be some sort of technology <laughs> or something, but tell us how you know this big wave's coming. On that particular night when we were out there, uh, you know, we'd be looking out and we'd see the stars and then when the stars start to vanish, we knew that <laughs> <laughs> the waves are coming. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, at least you can't see other things that may or may not be in the water out there, right? If you can't see what you're doing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so the light, you've got a light there. Where's that light coming from? It's coming from my back. It was actually built into my back and uh, it was a four year process on, you know, I'm working on how to actually get that technology right. And uh, yeah, it was extremely kind of terrifying but exciting um, motion. Some of the waves, the helicopter put his light on as well, but that kind of didn't work to my favour. Because what it, it was blinding. It was blinding, yeah. yeah, and I couldn't see where I was going. Mind so, you, no good doing this at night if you can't get the pictures. Yeah. So, <laughs> but what's the point otherwise? So you did need some light, right? I hate to yeah. sound gruesome, but is that light partially, uh, I guess partially so they can find you, but if you come off, right? Correct. That was exactly what it was for, for the people to track me where I was going. So they could see from behind exactly where I was going and, and, uh, and, and where I was going to be. And where did you do this? Uh, this is a wave called Piahi or Jaws yeah. in Hawaii on, on uh, Maui's North Shore yeah. and it's probably regarded as one of the heaviest waves in the world. Mm. How, how do you train for that? Well, it's a long-winded answer, but uh, there were so many elements that we had to break down of fear, you know, terrified of sharks, terrified of moving in the dark, just so many different things and we had to prepare on so many different levels to make mm. sure that we were ready for anything that came our way. Yeah, yeah. So how does this all translate into a book, Mark? How, how you know, what lessons are in it for us mere mortals who are not going to, you know, strap on a surfboard and, and take on 70 foot waves? I guess it's really the blueprint of having a dream and, and uh, I thought for a long time I was just a dreamer, you know, like I thought could this vision of riding a wave down a massive mountain be possible? And uh, there's a lot of pro like steps and processes you go through to achieve a dream like that. And, Essentially the book is really about those steps that took place, like how you break it down in your head and, and the things you kind of have to outlay to go through with uh, something that everyone else in, around you might say is unachievable and how, how you'd actually go through that. 
We, uh, we did a story earlier in the week about water safety and how kids just aren't learning mm. these days. We actually yeah. would have thought it would have been different in 2018 uh, with the focus on water safety. It's not. Um, you want to teach kids these important lessons. How do we get the message out there? Absolutely. Like, you know, across Christmas there was a lot of drownings and it's, it's hard to sort of put the uh, emphasis on saying, you know, the lifeguards are going to be there to help every single person. And I think it, we can go one step further and educate every individual. You know, there's simple things that we can all learn, stuff that, um, that we can put out in government programs, schooling programs to help every person growing up kind of understand that, that you know, Australia, we're around the beach, we're around the ocean mm -hmm. and we're around that water lifestyle. So just, just educating people on what to do and how to do it, just those, those simple kind of things I think is an absolute must. Okay, so you're spreading the water safety message, you've written a book, you're surfing big waves <laughs> at night time, what's next? I'm uh, still working on this project called Operation Deep Blue. It's something that's um, it's taken a long time to get off the ground, but uh, we found a wave out in the middle of nowhere and it was extremely hard to get to it in time with the perfect conditions. So uh, we have to parachute out of an aircraft to, to get into it and it's, uh, I think it's the next uh, really cool thing that I'll be doing and uh, I'm really excited to, to be a part of that. Isn't that God <laughs> saying you don't need to be surfing there? Like, he's, like, <laughs> so, like bad enough you've got a jet ski to get out to these waves. Now we're going to parachute in? Parachute the jet ski too, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? No, serious, yeah. Okay, come back and tell us about <laughs> yeah, that no, when you do that one. And you thought coming to Bondo Beach for a latte with me was dangerous. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is insane. We look forward to seeing yes. more on that. Okay. Thanks, uh, wow. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Thank Great you, to meet Mark. You. And for more on the water safety course and Mark's book, uh, the Big Wave Method, head across to our website, all the details are there.